What's going on everybody? I got the Raging Rob here. I haven't made a lot of rant. I haven't made too many rant videos lately. I've just been busy with shit. And, I don't know. I just haven't bothered. I just I just haven't bothered to make YouTube videos lately. I just haven't. So I haven't made a rant video in quite some time. So I just I just been busy with my life and I just haven't bothered. You know, I just that sh that tells people that I have a life outside of YouTube. Unlike Mongo who uh hijacked all the chicken sandwiches in the Popeye's warehouse and now Popeye's stopped selling the chicken sandwiches because they ran out. But anyway, shame on you, Mongo. Anyway, here's what I want to talk about tonight. I'm in Arizona right now. Uh, had some problems with this customer. I'm not going to go in details. Waited for like hours and hours. Load's still not ready, so I took off and went to the truck stop. So, I'm headed to California. They're supposed to call me when the load's ready, so I'll probably just take my break and pick it up tomorrow morning. It's not due to tomorrow night anyway. So anyway, um, Eham Omar. Some of you may not who know who she is if you don't follow politics very often. Eham Omar is a uh, Congress uh, uh, representative in Congress. Out of, I'm, I forgot the district number, 47, whatever the fuck it was. Out of the state of Minnesota. If you know anything about politics, that means people voted for her to represent her area in Congress. There's 400 and whatever members of Congress. Every area in this country has a district. She represents a certain district in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And Congress. Congresswoman Eham Omar. Muslim. Okay, fine. She's in the news. Oh, God, she's in the news again. I gotta be honest. She's a little cute looking. She's a cute looking girl. I gotta be honest. I'd fuck the hijab right off her head. But anyway. Um, anyway. I'm sorry, Melanie. I was just talking bullshit. I don't mean. I'm just talking shit. So, anyway, um. Eham Omar is in the news again. Allegedly, she's having an affair with some white guy uh, behind her husband's back. Okay? Now, quite frankly, you know, let's assume that Eham Omar did not marry her brother. I don't know if she did or not. That's a rumor. Well, let's assume that she'd not, she did not marry her brother and... She's having an affair with some guy behind her husband's back. Okay. That's sort of like Bill Clinton. You know, honestly, if I was married to a Hillary, I don't blame Bill for what he did. I can't blame him if I was married to somebody like Hillary. So anyway, uh, Bill Clinton, who is a pervert anyway, uh, it's not the Supreme Court's business to, you know, if a guy has his dick sucked behind his wife's back. That's a people's court issue, not a Supreme Court issue. Okay? Whether or not Bill Clinton is a pedophile or he's a pervert, whatever. He got his dick sucked behind his wife's back. That's nobody's fucking business. Eham Omar is cheating on her husband. I don't give a fucking shit. Okay? I don't give a flying shit. If you cheat on your husband, if you cheat on your wife, that's none of my fucking business. It's not the people's fucking business. I don't care if she's a Muslim. I don't care if you like her or you hate her or whatever. None of my damn business. However, she used $22,000 of campaign fund money to fund her, her fuck. Okay? You can't do this, Eham Omar. We have laws against that. It's called campaign fraud. You're guilty. So now she should be impeached. Regardless of the fact that she allegedly committed immigration fraud for marrying her brother to get her brother into the country. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't seen any hard evidence that she married her brother that's the rumor, but if that's true, then she also committed immigration fraud. It has nothing to do with her wearing a hijab or being a Muslim. 
she committed immigration fraud, and she committed campaign fin finance fraud. Okay? It has nothing to do with her religion. She is a criminal. She committed fraud at least twice now. Okay? Now, now I'm going to get into the religion part. And this is where I got to watch what the fuck I say because I want to compare something I want to say, you know, like her religion to what would have happened in Saudi Arabia if she would have done this. Now, I have to respect the fact that she is a member of Congress, okay? And I'm not going to be up here on social media threatening politicians. I'm not going to do shit like that. I don't come up on YouTube and, and, and Twitter or Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and threaten people and threaten people's lives. I don't do that, especially political figures. Because A, I don't want the Secret Service at my fucking door. B, it's illegal. C, it's wrong. I'm a better person than that D. So, Eham Omar, she's a, she's a Muslim. I know in the Muslim faith, there's certain things you cannot do. You know, uh, dishonor the family. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, they beat the fuck out of rape victims. Uh, they, you know, they can't drive cars. They, uh, the women can't drive cars. Uh, all kinds of barbaric shit that this religion, you know, whatever. Um, so Eham Omar in the past has supported the LGBTQ community. That right there is a strike against her religion. Uh, Allah is not going to be too happy of you, Eham. Um, your, pro your pedophile prophet um, isn't going to be too happy of you either. I know that if she would have done this in Saudi Arabia, went behind her husband's back and cheated on her husband, I know if she would have done this in Saudi Arabia, they would have you know, but I'm not going to say anything like that because I don't want the Secret Service at my door. She is a member of Congress. I have to respect that. I'm not up here threatening members of Congress. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying what would have happened to her if she would have done that in Saudi Arabia. So I'm not up here threatening anybody or anything like that. I'm not trying to do that. So if the FBI is watching my video, I'm not, I'm not threatening any members of Congress. The people wanted her, the people of her district, they elected her. They wanted her in Congress. She represents her district. I gotta respect that. She is a member of Congress. Okay. She fucking makes the laws of this country. Because the dingbats voted for her. I'm just glad we got Mitch McConnell in there striking down these fucking bullshit laws. And so many people don't like Mitch McConnell. He's the Grim Reaper of the Democratic laws. That's what some of you people say. That's fine. Love the guy, hate the guy. He's a constitutionalist. And as far as I'm concerned, we got... Hey, you fuckers got to realize something. With all the dingbats that are running for uh, for president right now, guess what? We got Donald Trump until at least January 21st, 2025. Four and a half more fucking years. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 So get used to it. So there ain't going to be no federal assault weapons ban until at least January 21st, 2025. January 22nd. There ain't going to, you know, ain't going to be any, any bullshit, Democratic bullshit, $15 an hour and all this, $20 an hour, whatever. None of that bullshit, you know. It's going to raise the rate of inflation. So, Eham Omar, um, like I said, if she's cheating on her husband, quite frankly, it's none of my damn business. But she committed campaign finance fraud. That calls for impeachment right there. Not a fan of this bitch, but, uh, hey, the people voted for her. This is what they wanted, so. Oh, you know, you better get a good lawyer, Eham Omar. Um, what is with people, what is with the Democrats cheating on their husbands? Uh, Kamala Harris, another uh, home wrecker, who used her pussy to um, further her political career behind her husband's back. We all know about her fucking Willie D, okay, or whatever the fuck that guy's name was, Willie something. 
hey, I'm gonna call. A, I'm gonna call a slut out when I see it. Okay, that's the way it is. What does it say in the United States Constitution? It says to hold your political. Uh, what the fuck is the right word to want to say? I can't even think straight. I'm fucking tired. It says in the right. It says in the United States Constitution to hold the government accountable and hold the political figures accountable when they're fucking up. Uh, it doesn't say those words, but you know, accountable for the ra hold the government accountable for their actions when they're, you know, they're not acting right when they're, you know, out of line. You know, we have we the people, we the people. I'm a taxpayer. What does it say? My hat. You probably can't see it. It's not very good lighting. Don't tread on me. You know, this is the hat that I'm wearing. Don't tread on me. All right. We the people have a right to hold our government accountable when they fuck. Up. Okay, Eham Omar is fucking up. She's a government official. Okay, she should be impeached. She committed at least two felonies. Okay, campaign finance fraud, immigration fraud. All right, and by the fact that she committed, uh, uh, she broke uh, Sharia law. Well, Sharia law doesn't take place in this country, but, you know, she broke the, the Muslim code, the Islamic code. If she would have done that in Saudi Arabia, I'm just saying, you know. Like I said, I'm not going to be up here threatening anybody. I'm not going to, she's a member of Congress, I respect that. So anyway, that's it. I got to go get something to eat. I'm fucking tired. All right, I'm wired. I'm out.